Hello, all my lovely Cancerians out there. This is Deep Soul Tarot. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, welcome if you are new and if you are returning. Thank you so much for coming back. This is going to be a monthly read for all the Cancers out there. Based on, because Valentine's Day is this month, I'm basing it on love for this month. Okay, so any love situations. If anything else comes up, I'll put that in there, but um, based on love. Um, this is a general read, so this may not resonate with all of you. So just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, and keep in mind that time is an, an illusion and energy is fluid. So although I'm doing this reading for the month of February 2020, um, whenever you are guided to watch this message is most likely when you are to receive the message at that time. Okay, so um, situations can, some of this may have already happened to you. Uh, some of it may be coming up, uh, may be happening down the line, but this is kind of a general energy love reading for, for this month and, and moving forward, okay? And these readings are not gender specific, so if I refer to the cards as he or she, that is only in reference to the energy of the card, not your gender. So regardless if you are male or female, uh, we all have masculine and feminine energies within us. Generally, we resonate more with one or the other, regardless again of gender. I'm a female, and I resonate more with masculine energy. I'm very much a tomboy. All right, let's get a couple more shuffles in here. I already meditated on the cards and um, pre-shuffled. I pre-shuffle before I do turn on the camera, but I also shuffle on camera. So here we go. I am using the Gilded Tarot deck today, which is by Ciro Marchetti. And my... Um, if I need to clarify, we'll see what comes up. I have my little, it's a little mini deck, but it's the Rider Waite deck that I use. And right now for the Oracle decks, I'm using the Oracle of the Fairies guidebook. Guidebook. I'm using the Oracles of the Fairies. This is the guidebook um, for uh, the closing message for the reading. Okay. Let me focus and get the energy here. Um, you know, if you want to stop the video or I ask you to take a moment also to close your eyes and meditate on the energy and maybe whom you're thinking of or the situation. If you are involved with someone or maybe you'd like to be involved. I know Valentine's Day is coming up in a couple of days. I had wanted to have these done by Valentine's Day. That doesn't look like that's going to happen. I apologize. What, message, what messages do you have, Spirit? For all the cancers out there. In regards to love situations, the relationship, or what you, messages you have for love altogether, all around. Okay. Now, I myself am a cancer. What am I doing? I want to cut the deck. I already did that. Um... I am on Cancer Cusp of Leo. I'm born July 21st, so if any of you are my twinsy out there, feel free to comment below. But all of you Cancers, whoever watches, comment your birthday below. Uh, maybe you've got twins out there. You know, that's just kind of cool to see if there are other people who share your birthday, I think, at least. All right, Spirit. I'm going to close my eyes and focus here. Any messages you have for our Cancers out there, please. I think only, I have my eyes closed, but I think only a couple cards fell, it felt like. Okay, spirit, whoops, that one wants to go. All right. Oh, my, I'm munching my cards. Squishing them. All right, a couple more pulls here. Now, I don't think there's a whole lot of cards that fell. One more, spirit? Spirit says one more. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right, then. Is that it, spirit? Yes. Okay. Oh, see, there's the munch card. Let's... We have some face down cards and some face up. But we're going to deal with the general energy right now, which is the Ace of Swords. So, Cancer, um, some sort of truth is going to come out and it's going to uh, be something that is a whole new beginning for you. Whether it's you're going to get some communication. I'm hearing that it's some sort of truth that you've been waiting for. Maybe somebody is going to express uh, their true feelings to you. Because that's what I'm hearing. And let's see what's underneath that. 
Hmm. Okay, we have the Ten of Wands. Something has been a burden for you. Maybe you've been wondering if this person uh, even cared for you like you care for them. Maybe you're wondering if this person wants to stay in a relationship. Maybe at this point you may have doubts. Um, but I'm hearing that some sort of truth is going to come out. And that's going to clarify everything for you. Um, and underneath that is temperance. And that's about balance and patience. So what I'm hearing with that, <clears throat> I am, if you notice up here, there is some, there's passion. There's passion between the two of you. I do feel that. I am hearing that. But this has been a burden. Maybe it's weighing on your, well, this isn't, ones aren't about um, necessarily thoughts. But I think it's weighing on your mind, I'm hearing. And ones are about action. So what I'm hearing is you're wanting somebody <clears throat> to be proactive whether express their feelings to you let you know or or do some sort of loving gesture you know to let you know that they do in fact care and or love you okay so the face down cards <clears throat> what's underneath the surface of spirit says do the, the face up first so i will but the face down cards is what's underlying the um situation or maybe what's within you so it's more of an internal type energy the face up cards are what's on the surface okay so uh, this is what is external or maybe more obvious in the situation but let's just see <clears throat> what they say first we have the fool the fool is asking for you to take a devil may care attitude and a leap of faith I'm hearing give this person a chance you hear the siren in the background? <laughs> it's quite noisy around here, so I apologize for any noises you may hear in the background. I'll happen to see videos of mine that I've done, I've uploaded, and I don't realize it at the time because I'm concentrating here. <clears throat> Maybe I'm used to the noise, I don't know, but then I listen to the video and I'm like, wow, that was pretty loud in the video. So, <laughs> um, yeah, now there's an air blower, so... Hopefully that's not too loud and you can hear me at all. Um, I'm looking at this. His leg is, he's got a, a loop around his leg here. And I'm, <laughs> I don't know what this is. This is what I'm hearing. Don't any, don't let any loopholes trip you up is what I'm hearing. Um, oh, come on, air blower man. Uh, I apologize for the noise in the background. Um, I prefer to do this at night, but I share a room with someone and she's here and it's just, it's, it's, I can't do them. This, you know, anyways, um, be patient. This is weighing heavy on you in general. Um, you think about this person a lot, but I'm thinking this person may think about you too, and you just don't realize it. And the truth is going to come out. There's going to be some sort of clarity for you in this relationship. Whether I can't, I don't have a sense of whether if it's good or bad. I'm feeling good that it's something that you've been waiting for. But you just, you just want to know so you can, you've been carrying this burden for a long time. And you want this person to take action is what I'm hearing. So maybe they're going to take it because these, the roles can be reversed here. So take it as it resonates. You know, maybe you want to take some action. Maybe you want to take the leap of faith. Maybe this is calling for you to take a leap of faith, not wait for the other person. And, and just ask them, you know, how do you feel? How do you feel about this relationship? Are we moving forward or are we just friends? Are we just friends with benefits? You know, sometimes that can be confusing. So next card we have is the Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles is a good student. He's a, he's a he concentrates. Um concentrates very good he's a good learner but sometimes the page can be so and the page is about messages so maybe this person has a message for you maybe you have a message for them but the energy is what I feel in the card at least what I'm hearing is this person is so focused on something that they're missing the beauty around them the growth and let me just see the fool and the, these two cards together the Page of Pentacles is a very grounded energy, is a very earthly energy. Um, 
and they like to do things um, structured. They want to make sure make sure things are perfect um, to have all the ducks in a row, so to speak. But what I'm hearing with these two cards together is, or maybe you're like that. Maybe that's your energy. You like to just know ahead how things are going to be you know is this going to be a solid relationship but i'm thinking that maybe this is calling for you to relax a little take a devil may care attitude let this person have a little space or let them kind of do it in their own time because they are going to come forward and give you some sort of truth okay they're going to speak their truth and that's what i'm hearing with the pager they're going to speak their truth they're just slow they're just slow at doing it Maybe this isn't even your energy. This Maybe the fool is your energy. Or maybe this is them. This could very... You know, I'm, I'm feeling that this is them. That they are going to take that leap of faith. It's just taking them some time. That's actually what I'm hearing. Next is the Knight of Wands. More masculine energy. The Knight of Wands. The Knights are about action and so are the Wands. I call it the Fast and Furious card. Um, where sometimes you can act too quickly. But I also, um, this card is also about courage and being bold. So what I'm hearing with this is it may not seem like it, but your person, Cancer, is planning to speak their truth. They are, I believe, going to express how they feel. It's just taking them time. Maybe they're worried about how they're going to say it or they're worried about, you know, how you may react. It's they're, they're contemplating the right moves so they're comfortable. And it's just taking them some time to move forward. But this is, this is the Knight of Wands is giving them, I think they're going to, especially with Valentine's Day coming. Um, but this could very well be someone you're not in a relationship with. And they're... They're um, trying to get up enough nerve to ask you out. And it could very well be that Valentine's Day is a couple of days away. Or if this is after Valentine's Day, it doesn't have to be Valentine's Day. Uh, it could just be that they're trying to get up enough nerve to ask you out on a date. So if you're seeing this after Valentine's Day or even beyond February, you know, somebody that you have a vested interest in, or if you are involved with somebody and you're wondering about how they actually feel about you, the, the truth is going to come out. I think your person is going to to um, speak their truth. The next card is the chariot. Chariot is about moving forward. I'm hearing two different things. I'm hearing that your person is finally going to start moving forward. And the chariot moves at a pretty good pace. You know, this, the, this is a female here, but the person and the chariot is is you know hitting the horses and wanting to go forward wanting to go forward so this may be you wanting to go forward because this is the cancer card the chariot so this could very well be your energy that you want to move forward and you just you don't know how the other person feels but you want to know i think we cancers like to know um either before we invest or give our love to someone or if we're, we are involved with someone, I'm a Cancer, and I do, again, I'm on the cusp of Leo, but I do like to know straight up how the person feels, you know? Um, if they want to get in a committed relationship, if they're not committed, I like it. So I, I would uh, have the assumption that I think Cancers like to know, you know? Because when we love, we love hard, right? We don't want to give it all away and then just be hurt, just to be hurt, which in general is most people, if not all people, but... Cancers in particular, because we can be very sensitive and um, emotional, you know, if we're going to be honest with ourselves. But you want to move forward, or your person is going to come forward to you. One of those two. Take it as it resonates, or vice versa. Maybe you're going to move forward again and ask this person out and say, hey, you want to go out on Valentine's Day? Or hey, you want to go out to dinner on Valentine's Day? The next card is uh, Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is about the past and reminiscing what I'm hearing here is you could very well be thinking about someone from your past either someone you were involved with and you're not now or someone you had a great connection with 
maybe you haven't seen them and you're going to reconcile, or you'd like to reconcile, or they'd like to reconcile. Again, take it as it resonates, because look at how full all the cups are. You know, and it's spring's coming. So what I'm hearing with this is love is blooming. Someone from your past. Love is blooming. And um, just to touch on this, for any of you that may be in a twin flame journey or know anything about that, um, but if you're on a twin flame journey, which I am, uh, this is the twin flame card too. So this could be in reference to your twin flame that maybe you're going to possibly come into union or maybe you're just going to reconcile. Maybe you haven't talked to your uh, twin flame in a while, haven't seen your twin flame. And you or your twin flame is going to come forward. Now we have the underlying energies, which is under the surface. This is what's on top of the surface of the situation, in your love situation. On the bottom, face down, we have a number of cards here. I'm just trying to get an energy of the, all the cards looking at them. All right. The Eight of Swords is a card where you feel either you or your person, but I'm feeling this might be you. I'm, I'm hearing that you may be feeling trapped or enchained. You know, you're, you're um, feeling bound by, and, and the swords are thoughts. There are thoughts in your head, and you see how the person is, is blindfolded? They're Choosing not to see something. Because the Eight of Swords is about... Um, basically having thoughts or worries in your head, so to speak. But this person is chained, but not chained in a way that they can't easily slip their hands out. So what this card says is, your thoughts are keeping you stuck in a place... That is almost like you're creating this image of that the person doesn't care. You're uh, maybe overthinking the situation. You know, this person may just be slow in expressing themselves, but to you that means they don't care. Maybe they don't express themselves well. Maybe to you that means they don't care. So, um, and I'm a Cancer, like I said, and I know, I don't know if all of you, but I'm an overthinker. I can take a situation and overthink it to death where then all of a sudden I've created something that isn't even necessarily true to the situation. All these scenarios in my head. And that's what I'm hearing here because the next card is the Two of Pentacles, which not only signifies imbalance. So I'm thinking imbalance in the thoughts, maybe emotions. Um, pentacles are about earthly situations, but you do have water in the background. It is calm water, but... Um, I'm hearing that you keep going back and forth with your thoughts. Up and you're having ups and downs, up and down, up and down. And you don't really know which way to go. Okay? You're trying to balance it or I think it's you feel like it's imbalanced. Let me see what we have past that. We have the 5 of swords. It came up in reverse. The Five of Swords Upright is, well, walking away from the battle, thinking you're victorious. This person thinks they're victorious. The battle's over. And without any regard to these people, these people back here are wounded. What I'm hearing here is <clears throat> careful how you handle this situation. Whether you have an argument, uh, if by chance you confront this person, Again, swords are about um, thoughts. And maybe you're going to express yourself. But be careful. Be mindful of their feelings, too. Sometimes we get emotional about things and say things that we either don't mean it that way or it comes out the wrong way or we just don't mean to say that. Because we're emotionally imbalanced. I mean, in a way that we're, we're worried about how they feel. And our emotions can cloud our, our judgment sometimes, so to speak. So, 
you may be trying to decide if you want to stay with the person or not. If you want to pursue or still be interested in this person or not. Um, the last card is the Knight of Pentacles. In reverse, the Knight of Pentacles is a very, very, very slow energy. Um, and in reverse, in reverse, I'm hearing that it's right now, it may even be in a standstill. And if it's not in a standstill, the person is just moving along very, very slow. And, or maybe you feel the relationship's just moving too slow. Um, but again, you don't want to have a false victory. You don't want to push and think that if you push the person that you're going to get what you want. You're going to be successful. You're going to win this battle that by pushing them. You know, some people just aren't programmed that way. And like I said, everyone has their own timing and how they deal with things. And so you could push this person away. And you really don't want to do that. Pay attention to your thoughts and be a little more realistic beyond the emotions. And um, I think this person does care for you because I think they are going to express their true feelings. That's what I'm hearing. We don't have any cups here at all. We have wands. We have swords um, and pentacles, but we have no cups. Oh, we do. I'm sorry. Six of cups. Maybe. Let me think here now because with the six of cups... If it's someone from your past, um, there's nothing wrong with reaching out and contacting someone. But I'm hearing that if you do, do it with baby steps. Start off just by just being a friendly hello and say, just, just thinking about you and just wanted to know how you've been. Something very light and um, not too... Um, not too quick, too fast. And that be, might be what the Knight of Wands is. You know, you might really like this person and really want to get something going. And you want to just get together and let's do this. But, you know, they may be a more um, slower paced person, so to speak, in love. Let me get some clarifiers. See if I can clarify this a little bit better for you, Cancer. Um, so let's see. I'm just going to do the top row. I usually do cards individually. I don't feel like, well, let me, let me put the six of cups aside. We're going to do the full, the page of pentacles, the knight of wands, and the chariot. Okay. See what the energy is for those cards. There's a card that flipped already. It's the hermit, but in reverse. One more card, please. Spirit. Oh, that's a whole lot of cards. Okay. But that works. That's okay. Let's let's put these right here, and I'll show them to you one at a time. Well, there's six cards here. All right. We have a number in reverse, but that's okay. The Hermit is taking some time alone. The Hermit came up in reverse, though. But Hermit is calling for time alone. Maybe taking a moment to look inside yourself for the answer, because you have the answer within. But it does call for a little... Um, introspection within. But it's in reverse. So. And with the five of pentacles, or six of pentacles, with the six of pentacles, again, another pentacle, but the six of pentacles is about give and take, and again, balance. So maybe you feel... And, you know, you very, maybe you're already in touch with the person from your past, but maybe you feel like there's some sort of imbalance. Maybe this person is in the hermit mode. Let me just see this here so I can see them all together. Her huh? messages I hear, the fool. Hmm. With a fool card, I'm hearing that maybe you've withdrawn from this person or been in a hermit mode, but now it's time to come out of that. Maybe you've even isolated yourself in a way that gone into your little shell, as we crabs will do, 
when we're hurt or have issues or whatever, we withdraw from the world, basically, and try to figure out what we want to do, what's going on. Maybe this has kind of hurt you in a way, you know, because you want to have contact with this person. But when I'm hearing about the hermit mode, maybe come out of that isolation and out of those thoughts within yourself. Maybe you've gone within, but you need to come out of that because maybe you're within too, withdrawn too much. And with the five, six of pentacles and the page of pentacles, it's like maybe you feel like you've been giving more to this connection than the other person. They're not really giving you, or maybe they're giving you what we call crumbs. You know, you, you contact them and they'll, they'll communicate, but they don't really elaborate or give you a whole lot to go on. But what I'm hearing, though, is you see how the, the page has this one pentacle? Look how big that pentacle is. The, the, your person, I'm hearing, the page, again, about messages, is a messenger is going to communicate with you. They are. They're just slower in communicating. And what that is telling you in your head is you think they don't care. They do. They do care. Um, they, they just want to make sure that when they do communicate, that it's what they want for sure. And they, I think, I'm thinking they don't want to hurt you. They don't want to hurt you. They want to make sure. Not that they don't care because they do. Because here's the Ten of Cups, which is emotional fulfillment. But it's in reverse. So with the Knight of Wands here, I'm thinking that you just, you want it to happen. You want it to happen quickly, soon. You know, maybe you're thinking about Valentine's Day. I want them to, but I want them to ask me out on Valentine's Day. I want to get this going. But, you know, that may not happen. Just keep that in mind. That may not happen, but that doesn't mean they don't care. I know Valentine's Day is a perfect day for somebody to um, express themselves because it's a special day. But, um... You just don't want to scare them away. You're going to have to let this person do it on their own time. And uh, the Knight of Wands, again, you have the Knight of Wands again, fast and furious. So what I'm hearing here is, although you're moving forward, chariots usually move forward. You know, the Knight of Wands upright. As, as I say with this card too, you're going to, you're going to have to cool your jets. Or, again, if this, the roles are reversed, maybe somebody's pursuing you. And you're not sure yet. And you just want to take your time and think about it. Maybe they need to cool their jets. But take it as it resonates. But somebody needs to cool their jets. Because it's, I feel, I hear and feel that it's going to happen. Somebody's resistant. This is the four of cups. Somebody's resistant. Right now. Maybe they've been hurt in the past. Or you've been hurt in the past. Right now they're just not sure. I, no, I, I don't want to right now. I'm not ready. It's in reverse. So, um, well, wait, what I'm hearing though, what I'm hearing though is it's in reverse. That could mean a delay of some sort, but because it's in reverse, I'm hearing that either you or this person, but I, I'm thinking it's your person, has been resistant before, but now they're coming around. They're coming around because the six to the four of cups is two of cups, which is a partnership. So this, they were resistant before, but now they may very well be ready for a partnership. It's just taking them time to heal or time to be sure that this is what they want. Whether this is a twin flame or just, I'm hearing it's just someone from your past. If you're in a twin flame connection, yes, it could be a twin flame, but it doesn't necessarily mean, and it can just mean that you're going to go out and have a good time, and that is going to be the start, <clears throat> get the ball rolling, so to speak, in this possible connection moving forward. Some truth will come out with that. <clears throat> the Eight of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. I'm going to do the Eight of Swords and the Two of Pentacles together. Holy Spirit, what is the energy there? Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups. Brand new beginning in love. This can also mean self-love. So filling your own cup. Maybe you just had some sort of 
<clears throat> uh, lesson to learn. Maybe spirit has, uh, and again, this is all, life is all about divine timing. So, you know, we can try to push it forward, but that can kind of mess up the flow of the way things are supposed to be. These messages are to guide you, not tell you what to do. So ultimately, spirit will give you messages and say, you know, hey, cool your jets. You're going to scare this person away. But ultimately, it's up to you what you want to do. Neither I, the cards, no one can tell you, even spirit can't tell you what to do. But regardless, you have free will. But if it's not what's meant to be, if it's not about the divine timing, that's when spirit's going to say, listen, I told you to clear your jets. You didn't. And unfortunately, this is the consequence. You're going to have to learn this lesson all over again. So you're going to hurt yourself in the process. So, um, but what I'm hearing is, I'm thinking you already went through some sort of self-healing. And if not, it's saying to, don't get caught in your thoughts. Okay? We're cancers. We have really good intuition. Follow your heart. What is your heart telling you? Because you know. You know. I think you know. That you think this person, or you can feel that this person cares, but those thoughts will always make you doubt that. Always. Unfortunately, we cancers are like that. Um, yeah. You need to balance out your emotions and your thoughts, is what I'm hearing here. Try to balance them out. Okay? Because you have a whole new beginning here. So it's not only about self-love, and maybe for your other person too, but a whole new beginning in love. Okay? Um, and then we have the Five of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. So the energy of that spirit, what is the, in reverse, Five of Swords in reverse, and the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. We have, whoops, okay. Don't want to drop the whole deck here. We have, and this one came out, they came out sideways. We're going to start with this one first. You've got the Eight of Wands, which is all about... Communication, fast is movement, but particularly fast movement and travel. So, and it can be distance also, but, so what I'm hearing, and it came out sideways, it's not in reverse. What I'm hearing is your person is in the process of finding a way and getting up enough courage to contact you. They want to communicate, okay? They're, they're not quite ready yet. Just take, be the fool, take a, a light attitude here you know release that burden of worrying about it i know it's hard for anyone in general but we cancers you know we hold on to things we get those little claws and we clutch onto someone or something and we just don't let go you're gonna have to let go you're gonna have to let go okay throw it up in the air what what uh, devil may care whatever it will be will be okay take that as as uh, take that <laughs> for advice whatever will be will be you know i'm in the twin flame journey it's not easy it is not easy and if you're going through that you know what i'm talking about um but you know and i love the person to death um we haven't really had a whole lot of communication like we used to uh, when we see each other though it's we're still friends there's no animosity the person is a beautiful beautiful soul so although i miss him and i would love to be with him and, and spend a lot of time with him he's so much fun to be around but that's just not apparently it's not the time for that you know um and I've had to adopt that devil may care, whatever will be, will be. I can't force it. If I try to force it, I'm going to lose the battle. And I'm going to push him away. And I would much rather have his friendship and then push him away. I would be, I would be devastated if he was eliminated, eliminated from my life. But we have this connection, I think, that will never be broken. So, so what I'm saying here, not to get into my business, but just to give you an example... Is, is cancer, sometimes we can just really be bogged down with the emotion. And it can almost, it's almost to the point where we obsess on it or, you know, we'll look at their social media and see what they're doing. Yes, I'm guilty. I have done that. Uh, but this person, you have to take a devil make care attitude. Whatever will be, will be. This person is going to communicate. It's just taking them some time. It's taking them time. This card is the Seven of Pentacles. And it also came out sideways. So it's not in reverse, it's sideways. Seven of Pentacles upright is can be seen in two different ways. But what I'm hearing right now is 
either you or the other person, or maybe both of you, you know, are trying to decide first, right now, whether they want to invest more. Invest or invest more into the situation. But what I'm thinking is the person is... You see how the person has... Um, looking at the... Uh, the other pentacles on the tree, bush, whatever that is, thinking that I really want this to come to fruition. I really want to invest in this so we can grow and experience things together and learn from each other. So I'm thinking that the person is really thinking about it. So actually, Cancer, think of it this way. <clears throat> this person cares enough about you that they want to make sure that they're ready to be in a committed relationship or in a relationship in general. Because it's not like you're not on their mind. They're thinking about you. They're thinking about you and they're going to move forward. The bottom of the deck energy is the King of Swords. Okay, the King of Swords is a person who makes decisions based on intellect, um, analytical you may be dealing with an air sign doesn't have to be but the swords are about air so it could be a, a, um, a Gemini an Aquarius or a Libra okay there are other elements here but uh, me that's the general energy that's the only reason I'm saying that it doesn't have to be though because they this person may have air in their chart <clears throat> they they're you know this is male energy so men usually base decisions a lot of times on uh, they analyze it before they actually um, make a decision. They think about things. And I'm thinking what this person um, is thinking because underneath is the Nine of Cups, which is, which is telling me, basically, because I feel this is your person, that they really do like being around you. They have love for you. The Nine of Cups right after that is the Ten of Cups, which is in reverse right now. But once they come forward, I believe that... The truth is going to set you, them, or, or both of you free. You're going to release that burden. Maybe the, the burden isn't even you. This person is carrying the burden of they really do care and they want to speak their truth. They just don't know how to say it. Okay? That's what I'm hearing. So if you're thinking about whether this person cares, they do. They have a lot of love and passion for you. They care a lot. Um... I'm thinking this is either, if you're not in a relationship, this is someone you know. And it could just be a friend. And now they realize they have feelings for you and you realize you have feelings for them. Maybe it's someone you dated in the past. You're going to reconcile and rekindle this relationship. Maybe you're going to meet someone new. But with the truth card, I'm, I'm thinking that this may be someone you know. Okay. These cards, again, are the Oracle of the Fairies. Let's see what spirit has here for you as a closing message here cancer i'm trying to see if there's any the only major arcana i see is the chariot card besides well, that's it that's it um, and that would be, that's your energy. That's cancer. So I'm thinking that's you. Like I said, right here with that is the chariot wants, moves forward, is moving forward, but goes in a, usually in a fast pace. And with the knight of wands in reverse, I'm thinking, slow down a little, slow down. It's going to happen. You're just going to have to, you're just going to have to wait for it. Take a, uh, a very light attitude about it. Don't get too heavy because that can scare people away. You know, that work, which is worth having, is worth waiting for, Cancer. And if this is your person, and um, this, let the person come to you. Or, well, like I said, the roles can be reversed. There's the card that wanted to come out. It is pure intention. All right. This is a good card, I believe, for this. Pure intention. And before I say anything, look at the, look at the fairy. How the fairy is like... Closing her eyes, almost like in meditation, by herself, just thinking, being calm and thinking. 
and manifesting what it is they want. Just do that. Clear out all those other thoughts and just think about your person. Imagine them coming towards you. And that will be manifesting what you want. You can't force them, but you can help manifest it. Pure intention. The fairy of manifestation will help you to use your wishes, wishes wisely. Manifest your heart's desire with pure intention and for the highest good of all. All right. Let me get the little book here. Pure intention. Da, 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 da. All right. Hold on a minute. I got hair or an eyelash in my eye and I'm blind and I can't see. Happens frequently for me. All right. The fairies. Can you see the card? Let me see. The fairies are usually very happy and willing to help us manifest our wishes as long as these are both from our heart and not for selfish reasons. It's also important that your wishes don't impose on the free will of others and that your wishes are for the highest good of all concerned, including the fairies. This means turning to your inner wisdom. There's your hermit. Uh, it feels right. If it feels right, you can call. If it feels right, you can also call on the fairy of manifestation to supercharge your wish. Here's a wonderful wishing technique using dandelion, dandelion seed heads, which are full of wishes just waiting to be carried into the air, fueled by your wise and wishful intent. Hold one of the fluffy seed heads to your heart and visualize your wish. Imagine that your wish has already come true, including your thoughts, feelings, and emotions when the wish has been fulfilled. Then take a deep breath, fueled by your wish, and blow the seeds into the air. Know the wish seeds will be collected and pr protected by a sylph-wise guardian, one of the many tiny fairies who dwell in the air. The sylph will take your wish to the queen of the sylphs and ask her to manifest, for, manifest it for you. It's important to give thanks to the sylphs once you've blown your wishes away. The beauty of making wishes in this way is that you're also helping the, helping the plant to spread its seed seeds far and wide when you help nature you automatically assist the fairies too so this is a wise way to create a win-win situation for them and you dandelion seed heads i don't know if that's what they're referring to but you know how when you you're in your yard or your uh i go to a certain place i walk to a certain place and there's grass there and they always have the um the little i guess those are dandelions I guess, you know, the little, you blow on it, and it has the little seeds on the top. It's a little, I don't know if, you, ah, if you're familiar with that, but um, that's what I'm thinking. You don't have to do that. You can just manifest it in your head, or if you use incense or candles, light a candle and do that. Um, manifest your heart's desire with pure intention. Pure intention. So you're not, uh, by manifesting your heart's desire, um, you're not forcing the other person you know, uh, but you're manifesting in a way that the energies, and if this is a twin flame, they will feel it. They will definitely feel it. Um, in a way that spirit, whatever, however you believe, whoever you, whomever you talk to, um, whether you pray or just meditate, um, that they can come forth, come to you and speak their truth. Ask them to have them ask this, the fairies or whomever to have your person speak their truth, whatever that may be. And you're going to have to be prepared. If it's not what you want to hear, you know, you have to take that as it will. It may not be positive, but let me just say after that, I feel here that it is positive. I really do. I feel that it's just taking them time. Okay. And a fool here doesn't mean that you're being a fool. It just means take a, a, a light energy. You know, just um, go with the flow and take it. Whatever happens, happens. Just keep that in mind. Whatever happens, happens. You know? Take a playful attitude. You know? Have fun with the person. Try not to um, think too much about the outcome. Enjoy the moments with the person, and I guarantee you, well, I can't guarantee you, but, um, well, I guarantee you that if this person does care for you or wants to be with you, they will come forth. 
It just may take them a little bit more time than you had wanted or anticipated. Okay, I hoped, Cancer, that this helped you in some way. If this did resonate, please smash the like button. Please subscribe and hit that bell button for further notifications. I do daily reads. Um, I have a theme for each day. Today was Wednesday Wisdom. That's already been posted. It's words of wisdom to get you through your week and moving forward. Uh, and then, it, you know, each day, thought, tomorrow's Thursday thoughts. I do those. I do moon reads. Um, usually uh, full moon and new moon reads. And the faces of the moon and um, those energies. And I will be doing twin flame reads in the future. But if you would like further notifications, definitely hit the subscribe button and the bell button next to it. And even if this didn't resonate right now, it may resonate later. Or, um, but even if it didn't resonate, I ask you to consider subscribing anyways, because you never know, there may be a message that comes up that is for you, you know? Okay. And I would love for you to comment and, and especially down below, just to tell them what day your birthday is, um, and find your twin. And if you want to share this, I would appreciate that too. Okay. And I really do appreciate you tuning in. I hope you will return. And, um, if you are a cancer cusp of Leo, uh, I'm going to be doing their Leo reading next. I'm hoping to get it done and post that also. Um, I, I strongly suggest looking, watching that video also. Because, because the fact that I'm on the, if you're a cusper, if I'm on the cusp and I find that those sometimes will either resonate more or sometimes will give me more clarity in the reading. It adds to, it's kind of like a bonus read. And also, if this didn't resonate, if you know your chart and if you don't, I strongly suggest you try to find a site um, if I can find one, I will try to, um, post that in, in the box below, description box below. Um, but you can, I think you can look it up, Google it, um, and it'll come up. <clears throat> check your moon, rising, and Venus signs. I mean, you can check your Mars and Jupiter too, but particular your moon, rising, and Venus. And in particular Venus, because Venus is about love, how you handle love and is your love life. Um, check those. So, um... And see what zodiac signs you have in those placements. Because sometimes those can resonate more, like I said, Venus. Or they can give you a lot more information in addition to this. So even if this resonated, you might want to check your um, other... I do that all the time. And I have different zodiac signs for, you know, <laughs> for almost every one. Um, Aries, Leo, Taurus, and Gemini, Libra <clears throat> um, in my chart. So um, my sun sign is my only... A water sign. The rest of it is fire and air. So I'm not your typical cancer. Um, but anyways, do check that out. But anyways, uh, thank you again for tuning in. I hope you will return. And um, I hope whatever is happening in your love life, cancer, it's all positive. And I hope you have a great Valentine's Day that your person will contact you. You'll have spend time together and have, you know, that 10 of cups. All right. Uh, but just pure intention. Okay. Manifest your heart's desire. That's what I'm hearing. Manifest your heart's desire. And I believe this person will come forward. Okay. Thank you so much. I will see you again. Have a great day and the rest of your week. Okay. Thank you so much, Catherine. Have a wonderful February month. Okay. I will talk to you soon. Bye.